So today we're going to be unboxing some live creatures for you uh, to put into the aquaponic system but we're going to quarantine them first. Uh, now the reason for that is we don't want to pass on any parasites they may have into the aquaponic system. So um, the two types of creatures we're putting in today um, are first of all ram's horn snails which we bought from Waterflora based in Blackpool um, and then we've got some Gamros Perlex from um, Lady Doll 560 on eBay. <laughs> Yo. Sorry about that. Um, now the reason that we put the Gamros into the system is that the Gamros will then eat the fish waste and that fish waste then will in turn be turned into smaller waste and it means that there's more um, nutrients which have been dissolved into the water. Uh, right, so the ram's horn snails, they help by eating algae if we do have a bit of an algae out outburst. Um, but also, it also adds to the eco-diversity in our aquaponic system. Also, a good indicator of water quality. So if you see the snails coming up to the top of the water, um, if you see that they're not doing too well, um, it, it's a very good indication that there's something wrong in your water or you need to do something with the filtration. Right, guys, so follow me and let me show you where we're actually going to quarantine them for the time being. So, keep coming. Right, so we have our first bucket over here and um, we have filled it with the aquaponic water from the fish tank and we've added some algae in there uh, just for the snails to start eating, things like that. Um, and we've also added an air stone in there um, to oxygenate the water to make sure that the, you know, they have enough oxygen to breathe as well. We will be doing water changes um, on a weekly basis to make sure that the snails stay healthy as well uh, because it is separate from the system. Um, ideally, we would like to have filtration, um, but as it is only a temporary thing, there's no point doing it for us. Um, now on to the next one, so we've got this big black bucket um, and this is going to be filled with um, some of our core which we put in our, um, which we grow our lettuce in and also they're going to have some filter sponges uh, because um, our research has indicated that they thrive better with these in there. So that's where we're going to be housing them for the time okay, being. Okay guys, so let's start with the, the gamaras. Oh my oh. days. You and your phone calls, Ramiz. <coughs> Hello. What the fuck, man? No, man, we're just uh, doing a bit of recording for YouTube and that, and then we're going to watch the game after. Okay, guys, so let's start with the Gamoras. Uh, as you can see, we've got a special delivery, um, obviously, because it is live animals. So let's see what's inside. A box within a box. Oh, it's wet. So, um, I believe we've ordered a hundred gamaras. Have a look at that. So you can see they've got some underwater plants in there as well. Um, something to feed on, I guess. And um, we have four bags, so I think there's 25 in each bag. Mm. Baby shrimp. Right guys, so now on to the ram's horn snails. Um, now, as I said before, they're from Waterflora in Blackpool. Have a look. So, let's open this up. So first things first is all we see. We've got the snails, and then there's um, and a bit of instructions on how to acclimate your snails. So, this is how it looks. So it says, please follow the acclimation method on the care sheet place on a flat surface and slowly remove the tape. Um, thing for the Gamera, so we're going to acclimate them as well. Um, there are no instructions that come with it, but let's do this. So there they are. Give it 30 minutes. Right guys, so um, it's been 30 minutes now, so it's time, um, so the ram's horn snails have been acclimated. So it's time to take them out of the boxes that they're in, um, and, and then to put them into the water. So let's do this. So it said put it on a flat surface, pull the tape slowly. And then we need to carefully remove the snails from the wood and place directly into the tank. So, let's have a look how they look now. Okay, so it's open. Right, guys. 
So those are the Rums Moon snails. Right. So there's the first box, second box, and then to gently put them into the tank that we have made. So guys, let's do this. So first to take them out of the cotton wool, gently. They look quite cool, don't they, the little red ones? Okay, so first one, sorted. So there's something inside there. I think that's, I don't know what that is. It might be to keep some moisture in. I'm not sure what it is. Anybody knows, give us a shout. I think there's carbon. Carbon oh. sticks, I've seen them in filters. What are they for? I don't know. Is this a recording? Yeah. As I was here, by the way, guys, you're just a bit camera shy today. <laughs> so, we got them. Should we put the carbon sticks in the water as well, or should I take them out? Let's take them out. Okay, so, I think we're good to go. So, which is look, guys. Well, guys, look. There's where I'm holding so as you can see, they're now attaching themselves to the bottom and also the sides. Some of them are inside the algae, but we'll see later how they get on. Um, but look, you can see multiple different colours, they look quite nice. Um, and as I said, they're a very good indication of how your water quality is. Excuse us. So the gammas have been acclimating as well for about 30 minutes. So it's time to put them into the water as well. So. And the first bag is empty. Oh, there's one left. Okay guys, let's see if we can see the cameras in here. Not too sure we can, to be honest. Yeah, so you can see them there, wow, look, they're swimming around. Very small. Yeah, we'll see how they do. 
They are swimming around within the dirt. So, we'll keep you updated on how it goes on, but for the time being. Okay guys, so that's it from me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the unboxing video. We'll keep you updated on how our live creatures are doing. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for the next episode.